Good evening. Welcome to our youth group crash. It is Wednesday, January 13th. Uh, I want to thank those of you that uh, continue to watch these videos. Uh, so a lot, many of you watch them live and then many of you watch them later on. I want to thank those of you that share them. Not that many share the youth videos, but I want to thank those of you that do share them. Good evening, Alicia. I don't know who's with you tonight. Uh, <clears throat> trust maybe Sammy and Xavier. Rob, <clears throat> always good to have you with us. I'm going to, just before I pray, <clears throat> I'm going to be singing a Beatles song tonight. And I was just sitting here thinking, uh, when I was young, uh, I did not like the Beatles. And I think a lot of it was jealousy. You'd be in a restaurant or somewhere and a Beatles song would come on. I want to hold your hand. And my the girls would all just start screaming. And then they'd all be up there dancing with one another. So I think a lot of it was just jealousy. <laughs> so I was a big Elvis fan, but not a big Beatles fan. But anyway, we're going to, Beatles are going to join us tonight. Okay, at least Paul McCartney's going to. Uh, let me open the prayer. Father, I thank you as always for the young people. I see Sammy and Xavier now watching. God, I thank you for the parents that encourage their children to watch the uh, the youth to watch these videos. God, it is just so important for young people. This is a tough world we live in, God. It is getting tougher by the by the day. And so I just pray, God, that uh, that you would draw these young people towards you, draw them towards your word. And God, use me in that whole process, please. Amen. All right. Um, have you ever done things in the past that you wish you could go back and undo, do over mistakes that you've made? Uh, many of you, I'm sure, are doing that. Uh, maybe dating the wrong person. You realize that you wasted so much of your life dating the wrong person. Maybe some of you, you married the wrong person. Uh, some of you may be looking back and say, well, I wish I would have taken school so much more serious. Uh, good evening, Anthony. Maybe destiny with you. Uh, maybe trusting the wrong people and finding out that they betrayed you. Uh, maybe for some, even getting pregnant, having a child. Uh, maybe for some of you, do you just want to do things, something different with your life. You look at your life now and you're just like, oh, I wish I would have done something different. Uh, maybe it's as, as simple as this one. Sammy's laughing. <laughs> maybe it's simple as this one. Hitting that send button on a text or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Hitting that send button and then afterwards wishing you hadn't hit it. Because once you hit that button, there's no taking it back. So maybe some of you are wishing you could go back to yesterday and do it all over again. So with that said, here's the Beatles. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why Jesus had to go, I don't know, he wouldn't say. I said something wrong, now I long for yesterday. Yesterday, love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why he had to go, I don't know, he wouldn't say. I said something wrong, now I long for yesterday. Yesterday, love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Yesterday. Beatles song. Wish you could go back to yesterday and do it all over again. Good evening, Grace. I, I trust maybe Manny and Ray are with you. Good evening, Adriana. Good evening, Savannah. Let's hear what God has to say about this, okay? There's a story in Exodus where, where God sent a couple angels to Sodom and Gomorrah 
because he was going to destroy the two cities because they were just so evil. There was just so much sin in them. And he told Lot to take his family and to leave Sodom and, and, and don't look back. Don't look back because if you look back, you're, you're going to be destroyed. Keep going and don't look back. And, and listen to what happens here. It says, but Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Now, why did she look back? She looked back because she longed for that life. She, she longed for the life. Have you ever gone somewhere and you're leaving and you miss it so much and so you're just looking at it as you drive away, you're just looking at it because it was so special to you? That, that's, what, that's what Lot's wife did. She looked back because she missed it and didn't want to leave it. And as a result, God turned her into a pillar of salt. She was long for the sin that was, that was, that was in her life. And then Isaiah 43, 18. God says this. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Good evening, Debbie. I trust that maybe maybe the boys are watching with you. Isaac, Lucas, good to have you if you're with us. Mike, if you're with us. if you Mike, if you missed it, oh, you, you know how much you love my singing. If you missed it, you might want to go back over to make sure you get it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, don't dwell on the past. God is saying, don't dwell on the past. You can't undo the past. You can't undo it. Whatever mistakes that you've made in the past, you can't undo them. That's why God says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Too many of us spend so much time dwelling on the past that we that we miss what God has for us in, t today. In uh, in Luke, let me. I, I forgot to mark the page. Hold on. In, in Luke 9.62, God says this. Sorry for that. I forgot to mark the page. Jesus, there, there's some people were coming to follow Jesus, but they were making excuses. They were making excuses because they didn't want to just leave everything right away. How many of you have said that? How many, how many of you have said, boy, I, I'm going to start a diet, but first I'm going to... You know, I'm gonna eat the rest of this pie first. Uh, I'm gonna quit smoking, but I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke this last pack of cigarettes. We 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 make excuses. We're too, we're, too, we're not ready to do it. And Jesus said, "No one who puts their hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God." God what Jesus is saying here is, you, "You you have no value to me if you just keep looking back. If you just keep looking back at the mistakes you made, you you can't undo them." You can't undo them. Don't dwell on the past because God has good things for you to do today and tomorrow. Look at what God has for you to do today and tomorrow, not on yesterday. Don't look back on yesterday. You can't undo yesterday. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says this. Brothers, Paul is saying, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which is God has called me, heavenward in Christ Jesus. Paul is saying, I forget about the mistakes that I made in the past. I forget about that. And I instead, I, I, I keep going forward. I keep going forward to, 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 my, to my new life. And that's what God wants you young people to do. If you've made some mistakes, and I know some of you have, you cannot do them. You cannot do them. So don't dwell on them. Instead, look forward for tomorrow. Look forward for this year, for this new year, 2021. Look forward to the new things that God has for you to do. In 1 Peter 4, 3 and 4, God tells us this. You have spent enough time in the past doing what unbelievers choose to do. They think it's strange that you do not plunge with them into the same flood of dissipation and they heap abuse on you, but they will have to give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Don't go back. If you've learned your lesson, if you've done something in the past, you learned your lesson, then for God's sake, he's saying, but for God's sake, do not go back and make that same mistake again. 
Learn from your mistakes. If you've made a mistake, don't go back and make the same mistake as what God is saying. Learn from them. It's okay to make mistakes. You you learn from them. I I've read I've read a book one time on on ex extremely successful business people, and it was interesting when you read the stories of them. Most of them failed the first time, the second time, the third time, but they learned from their failures. Many times you learn more from your failures than you do your successes. They they learned from their failures, and so then they made the right decisions the next time. So it's it's the same way with with you. Don't don't go back to your old way of life. Don't make those same mistakes. I know I play golf, and and when I make a mistake with in, in my this is why, if you make a mistake and you and you get to hit again, you you correct it and you do it right. If you miss a putt and you say let me try that again, you always make the second one. You always make the second. Why? Because you learned from the first one. So learn from your mistakes. Don't go back and keep repeating those same ones. Now, you'll know when you've done this. You'll know when you've done this. When, when, you, when you can say to yourself, when, when you don't say, I wish I would have done this or I wish I would have done that. From now on, now, if you say it today, if you say today, I wish I hadn't done this, I wish I hadn't done that then you know that you corrected it and you know that you're in the right path when next week, next month, next year, you don't have to say, I wish I would have done this. Or I wish I'd have done this differently. If you learned, then you make, then you make the corrections. And then, you, and then when you get older and you're on your deathbed, you don't have to sit there in your deathbed and say, oh, I wish I'd have spent more time with my grandchildren. I wish I would have... Uh, wish, I wish I wouldn't have worked so many hours. I wish I wouldn't have done. You'll know when you lived a good life when you're on your deathbed and you don't, you're don't. you not saying, I wish. I wish. People ask me all the time, Jim, if you could do it over again, what would you do differently? And I tell them all, nothing, nothing. I enjoyed every part of my life. I enjoyed, I, there isn't anything I can think of that I would want to do over again. Get to where you can start doing that same thing. Start living a Christian life where you don't have any regrets. Those of you that are young, start living a Christian life now where there are no regrets, where you're doing the things you can. Don't say, I, what, when, when you're far from God and you say, oh, I wish I would have watched those crash impact videos more than what I did. Start watching them and then you won't have to say that. <laughs> I, I wish I would have shared those videos more so my family and friends could have heard the message so they wouldn't be lost right now. Do it so you don't have to say that later on. Start living a Christian life where you won't make any regrets. I, I got to get this on Instagram so I got to pray quickly. Father, thank you for the young people that are watching this. I pray, God, that they learn now. They learn that, boy, this is the first day of the rest of their life, God. Help them to make decisions that they would not regret later on. And we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining me. Push that share button. See you tomorrow morning for those of you that do the daily devotions. God bless.